Hey there guys, what's cracking? It's your boy Chris here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do an Opus Clip new feature, which is adding B-roll to your clips. This is a huge thing that Opus Clip just released, and again, what we're going to do here is first, we're going to go into Opus Clip, obviously, and what you want to do is you want to scroll down to your projects, right? So let's figure out a project that we have done here. Let's just click on this video right here, and again, I have a bunch of oddball videos in here. And again, this is just a video of me designing like a fish aquarium. I actually have a channel with over 70,000 subs in the fish tank niche, so don't judge me, please. Uh, so what, what we want to do here, step number one, go into the Opus Clip dashboard. Step number two, figure out which clip you want to be editing, right? And then click on the little edit clip button right here. And I'm just going to edit on that or click on it, I guess. And what's cool here is this is where we can edit the clip itself with an Opus clip, right? I can edit all the captions. I can clip on, I can click on these clips. I can edit them. Literally, you can edit whatever you want here. It's really cool. Um, I prefer a video editor, honestly, once you start getting editing, but that is what it is. All right, so step number three is to go on and click on this design tab. And what we want to do here is we want to... Um, see right here, this is the new feature we're talking about. Generate AI B-roll that's going to be added to your clip. And this is what we need to do. And again, this is in beta mode, so they're changing a lot of things. This might change. And again, this is a really cool feature. And the reason we're going to use this is maybe you have a video, like you're watching me right here, just sit here and ramble, and it's front face cam, and it's getting boring. You want to keep retention, especially on reels, short form content like this. So adding B-roll is going to increase retention because if we're switching reel, if we're switching screens on different like B-roll stock footage, it's going to keep retention. Why am I blabbing? So click this on. And again, this is going to take a minute here. It's at 3%. And what it's going to do here is it's going to go through, it's going to use AI to go through your entire video and see which parts of it are boring, you know, where there's less movement, where there's just like, if you're just sitting there front face talking, blah, 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 it's going to try to add stock footage B-roll, which is awesome. So let's give this a second. We'll come back here when it's done. All right. So we have successfully added the AI B-roll within Opus Clip, right? And again, um, as you can see here, it didn't add too much stock footage B-roll. It just added one clip. And you can see it on the timeline right here. It's If I click over here, if I click my mouse right here and we click play, we can watch this. Uh, and again, you, what's, what kind of sucks, one big setback with this, is you don't get to choose which clip it is. So it's just going to use its best judgment to find a clip. I'm guessing Opus Clip, knowing how good they are, we're going to be able to choose different clips in the future. So yeah, this is an AI generated video clip. I, I, I wouldn't say it matches the video very well, but uh, maybe you are using like a stock niche like finance or something easy. The fish aquarium niche is somewhat tough to get AI stock footage from. So guys, hope this video helped you learn how to add stock footage B-roll within this new feature of Opus Clip. This is an awesome way to add B-roll to your clips and hire your retention. Guys, please consider visiting the subscription. I have courses in there on how to YouTube, all kinds of crazy stuff. Consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.